What's up guys? Welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to use a Mac OS to burn a Dreamcast game CD. Um, it's 2018 and um, I thought it was time to um, update some of the information that's uh, going around out there on the web um, because most of the uh, videos out there just talk about PC and they talk about programs that you can't get on Mac. So I figured it out this week and um, the two programs that you need on a MacBook um, are uh, Keika, which is the extraction program, and Liquid CD. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to your browser, and you're going to go to theisozone.com, and click on the download tab. The next thing you want to do is click on Dreamcast ISOs. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to download an awesome game called Propeller Arena, just for an example. Uh, Propeller Arena is kind of like Star Fox except with uh, four players and you're in uh, propeller planes. So it's pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to click on this file here. Um, this user, he's very excellent. Uh, most of his files uh, work great. Um, there are some other users that you'll find that aren't as good. Um, and so once you're here, you're going to click on the download button. ISO Zone uh, uses a host site called uh, FireDrop. Yeah, FireDrop. Um, the great thing about them is you don't have to log in or sign up. Um, you can download for free uh, one file at a time. They make you wait a few seconds, um, but once you do that, all you have to do is click on the download file. It's a really nice uh, interface. So I'm going to click on Download File. Uh, so in Firefox, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure it says Save File and push OK. Firefox is my browser. And in this browser, you can check on uh, the progress of your ongoing downloads by just hovering over here and clicking on that. Now with FireDrop, with FireDrop you have to uh, get rid of uh, a pop-up in the back um, because I just don't want it to slow my computer down. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of close that out real quick and that way we're running. We're not going to wait for this whole file to download. It usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes depending on what time of day um, you, you download. But I've already downloaded this file for you guys so um, let's go ahead and jump right to it. So these are the other uh, Dreamcast games that I've got working so far. And here's Propeller Arena. Okay. Now um, we're going to open up Keika but I want to show you something about when you open it. So I'm just going to my launch pad. I've already pre-installed Keika, and I'm just going to open it up there. Now, um, I'm not that tech savvy, so I don't know if this is a necessary step, but once I started doing it, the disk seemed to work. So um, I'm going to go ahead and slide this um, arrow down to store, no compression, and I want to make sure that under split, it says 700 megabyte CD. This is the format that was most recommended. Uh, on the internet. So uh, once that's selected, that's all good. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, double click on Propeller Arena, and I'm going to let that extract. So um, this .7z extension stands for 7-zip, but Keika will go ahead and extract all sorts of types of files like zip and uh, RAR. Um, but in this case, uh, and on the site, most of the files are 7-zip. So that's going to open up into uh, what we're hoping for is a CDI file. There it is. Um, I've, done, I've tried to make this video a couple times, so it just says number three here, but you only need one file, okay? Um, so here's the CDI file. That stands for CD image, and this is the file that you want to burn onto your disk. So um, we're going to go ahead and start burning. Uh, but before that, I just want to point out that if after an extension, your file looks something like this, which happens once in a while, I think for us Mac users, I think we're out of luck. But um, that doesn't happen too much. What you do want is these uh, CDI files. OK, like the, here it is, CDI. But let's go back to Propeller Arena, and um, I'm not going to double-click because I want to show you uh, what it looks like when you open up 
uh, Liquid CD, which is our burning software. So here it is. I'm going to click on it there. And while that's opening up, um, here it is. You don't want to click on data or audio CD or photos or video DVD. You want to select others. By default, disk image is already selected here in blue. And then you're going to go down here and click on choose a disk image. That's where we want to select where our CDI file is. So here's my folder again where I put all my Dreamcast extractions. There's the CDI file. And I'm going to say open. It's very important that you see two data tracks here. Uh, visually, you might, it might say one audio track plus one data track, and that's fine too. But what you do not want it to say is just one track or one audio track. If it does say that, then unfortunately um, you've got a dud and it's not going to work, and I wouldn't even waste your time trying to burn it. This is a good file. It's got two data tracks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click Burn. Let me just eject my uh, CD here so I can show you what happens. So, okay, so here I'm going to click Burn. Uh, it's going to wait for your disk to be inserted, so I'm going to put that disk in. And you want to use a 700 megabyte CDR. Uh, fortunately, I had a whole stack of them from back in the day, and they still uh, work great. So I'm glad I never threw those out. Um, but you can pick them up at, you know, like Rite Aid or Walgreens or wh whatever store you, you use for that kind of thing. Um, anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and select 8 times speed. Um, just because it's, it's very stable, um, it really doesn't take long to burn a disk anyways. Um, so um, I've been very successful choosing 8 times speed. In Liquid CD, you want to go ahead and click Advanced Burn Options. And you must click Allow Overburning. There's a warming, warning that pops up, only activate the overburn if you know what you're doing, which we do. So we're going to click OK, and we'll select OK. Um, and do not click on verify burn data. Um, whenever I did that, uh, the game did not work, um, and it took a lot longer, so just leave it blank. It's fine. Um, and then you can, click, uh, you can just let that eject the disk after you're done. And I'm just going to click on burn. Um, now, um, that concludes the video. I just want to point out that um, when Liquid CD is done burning, on my MacBook anyways, uh, for some reason Liquid CD just freezes up. The disk is fine, um, it ejects and everything, but all I do is uh, I just go to force quit up here and I'll just force quit out of Liquid CD and it's really quick to do that. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck. Um, in, enjoy your games. Uh, leave any comments or questions, and uh, I'll see if I can get around to answering them. Enjoy!